so we've made it to the final Lace and Whimsy box. Um, so yeah, this came in the mail. I got it late yesterday, so that's why I don't have video up. Um, why I didn't put one up yesterday, but uh, this box feels super heavy. I have no idea what's in here. To be honest, um, I have been really staying off of Instagram a lot. Um, I, I don't know, it just, it really hadn't interested me. Um, I have been writing here and there, but not a daily thing like I was doing. Um, I've been playing a lot of WoW. <laughs> A lot of wow. Um, I, if you play, uh, let me know down below. But I have been having a lot of fun leveling up my characters and everything like that. Um, when Shadowlands first launched, I was in a guild playing on Alliance, even though Horde is home for me. Um, it was kind of nice being able to do a change of pace, and I did my first raid tier. And then uh, the guild that I was in um, kind of broke apart. And um, the people that I was really playing with on my Mythic Plus team, they, um, I'm sure they'll be back sometime, but they've been playing a lot of other MMOs. So um, I decided to go back home to Horde side and am working on leveling up my characters, doing my Covenant campaigns, um, gonna start trying to do some pugs with the raid and all that kind of stuff so I've just been really playing a lot of WoW getting achievements mounts all that stuff so if you are on um, if you are on area 52 um, yeah let me know or if you're on Sargeras that's my pretty much home alliance server but area 52 is home so that's not the point of today's video but uh yeah so let's let's start unboxing this last place in whimsy box it's a sad day oh and it is really it's raining outside so if you hear any thunder or anything like that that's what we've got going on fun stuff so it looks like Kathy really wanted to go out with a bang with this box. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm gonna move everything. I love this tissue paper. Oh, this must be new. This is so cute. So I'm sure y'all saw both of these. Looks like they're both candles. So y'all know the drill. Um, as of right now, I have not decided if I want to subscribe to another box. I, y'all, oh my God, if you saw my desk, if you saw my sticker collection, my sticker collection is absolutely ridiculous. My ephemera collection is utterly ridiculous. So I'm kind of thinking that for right now, I'm probably not going to be subscribing to any more boxes, at least for right now. Um, that way I can go through my stuff. I do still have my Patreon with Illustra Z, which I will not be stopping as well. That one has been kind of coming a few times a year instead of every month, roughly. Um, so, anywho, um, so as of right now, I don't know if there are any other subscription boxes. I likely will be just kind of taking a break from sub boxes for a while um, until I get through some of my stash. I've got just, oh, it's, it's a, it's a large amount of things that I need to get through and organize and all of that. Um, because even though I have been getting a few things here and there that help with storage, I have more stuff than what I can pack in my little corner of this house. Um, so yeah, anyway, 
without further ado, again, <laughs> let's uh, let's get to this box opening. So we're definitely going to be keeping this paper. This paper is amazing, and it's going to be so cute to use in journals and stuff. So this month we have got. Let's see, what is them? What is the theme? Do we have a theme for this? Oh my God! Look at that. Oh, so cute. Okay. So we have the luxe items here. It doesn't look like there is a theme to it. So cool. Let's just go through and see what's in here. Um, got her card. Got the little information about the candles because she usually has like little flowery pieces and stuff like that on there. We've got a postcard that says you are magic. Um, kind of explains there's a code, all that good stuff, all her info. So let's see, for the regular Lace and Whimsy box, we've got the Sweet Reverie Candle. Um, so the fragrance profile, it is sugar berry scent blend. The fra She actually put the fragrance profile, which I think is cool. The tops are black currant, strawberry, raspberry, middle is sugar and freesia, and the base is vanilla and light musk. So it is a purple shimmery candle with um, these little glittery bits. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So these are going to be one thing that I'm really going to miss. Um, thankfully she does launch candles every now and then, but, um, I do have a couple. Sometimes I just open these up. This is one of the old candles. Sometimes I just open these up just to let the fragrance kind of, you know, take over without, um, without burning them. So this will be a really nice addition. I mean, when I tell y'all I love Lace and Wednesday candles, here's another one sitting here and another old one sitting here and another one sitting here that I have not used yet. Uh, this one's my favorite. It's a lavender candle and I haven't burned it yet. But yeah, I love, I love, love, love her candles. So really happy that we got a candle there. Uh, next, we have got the uh, sticker pack, which is in this. I like that she's been doing this. The last few boxes that we've gotten, she's packed her little sticker packs in these rather than the little glassine bags, which I think this is cute. I love this little, this little idea here. Ooh. And I save all the paper, of course. So here for the flight stickers, got one that says it will be okay. We've got her little teacups. These this is like a gosh, I can't remember when she put this in the boxes, but there was like a little teacup set. I thought that was really cute. This is a new one. New Temperance. And got some little mini butterflies. Oh, look at the teapot. That's cute. And then a little holographic candle. Ace of Cups, and this is another older design that she's done, little fortune teller girl. Probably will be going on the caboodle. And then for the stickers, we've got her cups and butterflies and some roses and stars and just different things there. The pastel tea party. So you've got a macaron and teapot, cups, butterflies, and pretty lavender. 
I love her little deer. Oh my goodness. And then we've got some new designs here, the Emperor and the Empress. That is so cute. I, pretty much since I've subbed to her box, she's had this sweet little deer with a little moon on its head and everything in her boxes. But this one looks new, little Bambi. So cute. And this is the Whimsical Rituals. I remember printing off like a big sheet of that and putting it in one of my older journals. Cause I don't know, I just, I love that, that whole thing there. And then these are more, um, they're planner affirmations, but they're, you know, some more functionals here. We've got little heart checklists and then some quotes, little boxes, flags, cute little things there. And then the last one are the pastel washi strips which I think are so cute. And let's see what else comes. Okay, so this is everything that is in the regular box, not including this here. Um, for the Lux add-on, we have got the large candle. This one is a Vanilla Flora candle. The fragrance note profile for this, the top is lemon, ginger, and buttercream. Middle is jasmine, honeysuckle, vanilla, and cake. And the base is wood, violet, am amorous, powder, bourbon, and sugar. So this is what it looks like. I have never gotten, oh my gosh, this is the first time we've ever gotten like a really nice little glass here and it's oh it's hollow oh yes oh that smells really good that's nice and it's like a really nice light pink shimmery candle with glitter and little bits of floral pieces oh that is so nice I love it oh my goodness that's so cute oh I can't wait to burn that and then you've also got the Major Arcana. Oh, she finished it. Okay, so there are 22 die cut stickers. This is from the 2018 Tarot Illustration Series. I really like this. I wonder if there's a way that I can get that off without wrecking it. I don't know why. Maybe because I really like junk journal videos, but I love keeping stuff like this and I don't want to wreck it because you can use these for anything you can use them for um, you can use them to make little uh, bookmarks you can use them for tuck places I really, um, I, in the bottom of the description box, I have my links there and I, it's been a while since I have updated my Facebook page, but I do have a Facebook page down below if you want to give it a look. And I have not really worked on my junk journals in a long time, but, um, that's kind of where I wanted to put more casual stuff. Um, things like that. So I, I was kind of giving updates on how I am doing my junk journals and everything like that. But to be honest, like, I don't know, I go through, I feel like I've been going through more lulls in creativity over pretty much since COVID started. I just have not really felt as creative as I normally try to be. All right. So here we've got the world. Try not hit the camera too much. Judgment. That is cute. Little phoenix. Got the moon. The sun. The star. The tower. 
the devil. Temperance. Death. The hanged man. Justice. The wheel. The hermit. Strength. The chariot. Lovers. The hierophant. The emperor. The empress. The high priestess. The magician. And the fool. So these are all just little mini stickers. Very cute. And then you also get an ephemera pack that has an eclectic assortment of paper pieces for crafting and collaging. So y'all, she really, she really packed this, this box full of stuff like, wow. She really, really went in on this box. Um, so we've got this little strip here that says magic. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Little flower. These are going to be so fun to play with. the color of these flowers. It's so pretty. A moth. More florals. We've got a tag and two cute little doilies. Love when she includes some envelopes. These are really fun to put in junk journals. You can um, write a little note, use it for a tuck spot. There's so many different things you can do with cute little envelopes. And then that looks just a little journaling card. And a little ticket. Looks like a little photo. Uh, be brilliant. Another flower. Another flower. Love that she put, she put these um, sculpture pieces in too. I love that she put the bigger ephemera in here. That's, that is awesome. I love big pieces of ephemera because you can just, you can do so much with them. Love that. That's just kind of how I journal. And then there's different little photos. I love this, it's so pretty. And then we've got a quote there. And that, my friends, is everything. So this concludes the Lace and Whimsy Whimsy Box monthly series, even though I have I've dropped the ball on it from time to time, but um, I did look last time that, um, last Whimsy Box unboxing, I did go back and look and I think I subscribed to this in December of 2017 or 2018, somewhere around in there. I'm wanting to say it was 18. Um, so I have, I have kept this sub box longer than any other sub box that I've ever done. And I have just genuinely loved every box that I have gotten. And, um, 
I, I just, I love her products. And this, I feel like whenever I filmed last month, I was being a bit, um, maybe dramatic, but I am sad that this box is has concluded for the time being. However, things do seem to be kind of in the air. It's been a while since I've gone back and looked on the Patreon or anything like that just to see if there are any updates. And like I said, I have not been on Instagram. So um, going forth, I knew at the time that she was um, wanting to have more offerings in her shop and be able to create more. So as of right now, I'm not sure where Whimsy boxes stand. Um, I do know that she, of course, has concluded them monthly, but um, I don't know if she's going to be launching them quarterly or maybe once a year, once every six months. I don't know, but I do know that um, she has said that it is not the absolute end. It's the end of the sub for the month, but it's not the absolute end. Like you will never be able to get another whimsy box ever. Um, but, uh, as for right now, um, I think it will be a great time for her to rest and relax, um, recharge and figure out what she wants to do next. Like, I think this was a beautiful conclusion. I have seen things in here that um, I had in some of the first whimsy boxes that I ever got and some that are very uh, like stuff that is from the end of last year and things like that. I think that it was a really good assortment of things that she has made over the years and I cannot wait to use this stuff. Um, I know that a lot of this probably I will be keeping for a while because I do tend to hoard things really, really bad um, since <laughs> we didn't get double and triple stuff. That's just the way I am. I hold on to things forever and then finally I'll use them. Um, but anyway, so, Kathy, if you happen to come across this video, thank you so much for offering a box that is different, that um, caters to so many different tastes, because whether you love witchy things or you love pastels, you love anything girly and pretty, this box really... I think that there was a little something for everyone with this box. It doesn't, you know, it's not just one theme. It's eclectic and I love that. That's one reason why I love her shop so much because the color palettes that she uses is so what I love. And the whimsical and eclectic style and different things that she adds is that's just it's right up my alley so anyway thank y'all so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see future videos please hit subscribe I would love to have you over here and other than that I will talk to y'all soon bye everybody